What's up everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to create a rhythm bass like this. Let's get to it. So you want to go ahead and open up Serum and the wavetable I'm going to choose is Rocky Power Sound Jelly. And if you guys don't have this wavetable, it's okay, you can use any other wavetable. It will just give you a different sound. So first we need to modulate the volume and the way I'm going to do that is turn the volume all the way down and modulate it with LFO1 like this. I'm going to turn on to trigger mode. Next, we need to modulate the wavetail positioning. So go over to LFO2 and take the top part of the LFO and drag it all the way to the right. Make sure to set the rate to a half and turn on trigger mode as well. And the reason we are doing that is to make it unique like this. Next we're going to create the rhythm vibe sound like most basses. So first we need to turn up the unison to about 10 to 16 and turn the detunement knob to about 0.6. After that you want to turn the rhythm phase all the way down. So now we need to modulate the detunement knob so I'm going to take alpha 1 and just drop it straight on there. And I'm actually going to do this little trick and to do this you're going to want to hold shift and alt and then left click on the knob. And once you've done that I'm going to modulate 15%. After you guys have that, it should sound something like this now. Next we need to create the talk effect. So the way we're going to do that is turn on filter and select band pass 12. From here you can modulate the cutoff anywhere you want. So I'm going to modulate it about right here. And here's where the talk effect comes in. So we need to turn up the resonance by a little bit. And we're going to take the frequency knob and modulate it into the cutoff. So it should look something like this. Now here's where we get into the fun stuff. So go into the FX section and turn on distortion. You want to put the drive to about 80% and what this is going to do is make it a little bit more louder and more in your face. Next we need to turn on hyper dimension and on the hyper side I'm going to turn the mix all the way down but on the dimension side you guys can adjust it to anywhere you want. What the hyper dimension is going to do is just give it more space and room for the sound. So we're going to put the hyper dimension under the distortion. Next turn on delay and select link and put it to 164. Next we're going to turn on multiband compressor. And what the multiband compressor is going to do is make it more louder and even out the frequencies. So the last effect we have is going to be the filter effect and just an FYI if you guys don't have the exact same effects chain that I have right here, say for example you put the filter down here, it's going to change the sound a lot so make sure to have it exactly like this. So we're actually going to use the combs filter plus and with this effect it's going to make it sound more like a rhythm bass and give it that rhythm vibe. So I'm going to set the cutoff about right here. And turn up the resonance about here. Now for this effect you can change it to however you like it. And this is more preference. So change it to however you like it. And once you guys have that done. It could sound something like this. So that is how you make a rhythm bass and if you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful then consider subscribing and share this video to people who you think it might help and if you guys want any short tutorials go ahead and follow one of my social medias down below and yeah thank you guys for watching and peace out.